how's everybody doing? Thanks for joining me. Welcome back. So today I thought I would join you and share what am I, what I'm liking and not so much. So if you guys are interested in seeing what I'm liking and maybe not liking, keep on watching. Let's get into the hair care products right now. Uh, one of the products that I'm really liking for my hair, and I got it in my boxy charm, is the Bryogy. Bryogy. Am I pronouncing that right? I'm not sure. The Bryogy Don't Despair Repair Deep Conditioning Mask. I got this in my boxy charm, and it's two ounces, I believe. Yeah, I really like this for deep conditioning hair mask, and you know that's something I like to do uh, at least once in a week. And so far, so good. I've really liked it. I think it's a really good deep conditioning hair mask. I don't know if anybody else has ever tried it or tried from the brand, but I actually liked it. This product here I got from the QVC, and it is from Nick Chavez, and it's the Velvet Mesquite Serum for Hair and Skin. I have seen him share this quite a bit um, from his velvet mesquite like he has the shampoo and conditioner even this is a two ounce bottle which sorry for the glare it's probably my lighting and the way this bottle is it's like a silver uh silverness to it and so it's gonna have that reflect there you use it for the hair for the skin if you want to i haven't tried it on the skin yet i have used it on the hair uh, a couple of different times i have to use three pumps it will tell you on the uh, box of how many pumps you can use for your hair type and like for if you have thinner hair or thicker hair long hair all that kind of stuff if you notice I mean like my hair that's why it looks so healthy right now and that shine I don't know if you can see some of the shine in there like seriously it's it's really really a good hair serum and you know me I love my hair serums I love my hair oils it's $30 for a two ounce. I got mine on QVC. I don't think that's bad for all the more you're going to end up using it throughout. You know, you don't, you don't have to use it every time. He even says that you could put a pump of it in his conditioner, or maybe you want to do it in one of your conditioners. Yeah, I really like it. These um, hair coils. I've been seeing a lot of people sharing the hair coils, and I knew I had a pack. They're from the company... Um, I don't know if it's Kitsch, I think so, K-I-T-S-C-H, and the site's called My Kitsch or something, and I got these a while back ago from the Joyaco company, and it sent me some hair products, and I never tried them because I used to think, mm, I'm not sure if I'm feeling it, you know, but I've seen other people sharing it, and I thought, oh, what the heck, because I thought this would actually make one heck of a mess in my hair, not in my hair, and it, you know, just be one a hot mess. Can I just tell you, I would rather have these than them hair ties now. These uh, stay secure on your head, like perfectly secure on your head. They do not pull your hair out. Like, you know how some of them pony, pony, uh, ponytail bands or whatever, you know, like I put my hair in a bun a lot of times or in a ponytail when I'm doing my makeup, washing my face or just, you know, my hair bad every day, whatever. And a lot of times when you pull them out, sometimes... They kind of get stuck. I've had that anyway. Or you're pulling it out and there's some of your hair along on the band. And I've had that already. With this here, no. I haven't had any of that. The, you know, there's these there are these little rings. And they're called the hair coils. Now, you can get them from wherever because Walmart has them and everything. I just, I have several of them in this container here that I'm going to be using now. If you can get hair coils and you have long hair, to use the hair coils. They're so much better for your hair. You won't have the hair breakage neither. Okay, let's go into skincare next. So for skincare, you probably have seen me share these before, and it's the Aveeno uh, Positivity Radiant uh, Cleansing Pads. I'll tell you what, these for $6, $7 or something like that are so worth it in my opinion because um, the one side has like the exfoliating grit on it. It's not anything that would burn or hurt or anything like that. I mean, then you flip it over and the other side is smooth. I can actually show you. So you'll see this side here has the more exfoliating side with the grit. And then this side's more smoother. Do that 
or at least maybe once a week or something like that. My skin feels so great. You can tell that it it's really super clean and you can feel like it's new fresh skin. It is really good for if you're looking for something to help brighten the skin. I would say if you're on a budget and you do want some good exfoliating pads, that would be one to look into and try out. Then the Soe company, I've been you know, trying out a lot of these masks. This is the Charcoal Clay Bubble Mask. It's an oxygen bubble mask. So I tried the e.l.f. one. You probably see me share the e.l.f. Uh, on one of my videos. I actually like this one more better than that one. I would probably even get a full size of it and work with it because it is an oxygen bubble mask. Also, another one I pulled out, an oldie but a goodie for me, and I haven't used it for a while because I've had several companies send me some stuff, and to be fair, I like to try them out, and I put other stuff aside that I've been using. Let me just say, like, I'm getting down right about here, and I've missed this guy, and I'm getting a little nervous. I'm getting down to the bottom there. This is the Revive Serums HA7X Multi Molecular Hydrator Serum. There's just something in this that when I start using it again, I realize why I have liked this and why this has continuously been in a likes video. Now, it's, I know it's a brand that's not well known out there. This is, I think, $65 or $75, and I know that's pricey. However, as on here, it's compared to the Skin Medica HA5 Rejuvenating Hydrator. Now, I've never, as I've told you different times before, never tried the Skin Medica. I'm half tempted to, just to see if there is a comparison and if one's better than the other, if they're the same or what. I know the Skin Medica is expensive brand too, and theirs is like $175. This is a two ounce too, by the way. I like this stuff. Not so much. I bought these cleansing pads in Dollar Tree because I've heard different people talk about how they've liked them and you know they've used them and everything and they're only a dollar so I thought hey you know makeup wipe just do the extra removal of the makeup. Collagen one I've used a couple different times and it's not too bad. It's I would probably be okay using it sometimes on my face. I don't think I'll repurchase it but I'll finish using it up this one, the retinol one, new, no, new. No. I will not use this on my face again. I've used it a couple different times on my face. It was like the cloth wasn't saturated enough. And then also kind of irritated under my eyes on my skin. Like I was already having problems with under my eye because when this time of the year comes, I do get problems with my eyes. Like I get the itchy, itchy watery eyes, dryness, all kinds of different things. And I already was getting something under there for dry eye and this irritated it even more and it was like a bright red streak here. It was just horrible. It does, have, it does say retinol and I know retinols can irritate some people's skin. I'm aware of that. However, I've used other retinols and they never did. You know, I've been using, I use retinol now from uh, Obagi and I don't get that problem. This made it itchy and irritated. So yeah, I'll use these maybe on my hand to remove some makeup or something like that when I'm doing swatches. Now, makeup wipes that I really do like that have worked for me. This is the Yes to Cucumbers makeup wipes and not cucumbers. I'm, I'm sorry, not cucumbers, coconuts. Yes to coconuts. And I really like this one, especially for the dry skin and everything. It's a very nice hydrating. These are these are the best makeup wipes I have used actually. A scent that I pull out a lot and within recently a lot is my Falling in Love from Philosophy. This is my favorite scent from Philosophy. You know what? I think it's this scent just gives me comfort and that's why I pull it out and just makes me feel relaxed. I don't know. That might sound like an odd thing to say, but I know that's what they do claim some of their perfumes can do. Now they have unconditional love and that was nice, but I still go back to this one here. So, and I get lots of compliments whenever I wear that one. Not so much. Well, I feel like I want to say not so much, but then I'm like in between with it because like I like it, but then I don't. It's this brush here that I got my BoxyCharm from the Crown Company, the Crown Brushes. And 
you know, I know crown brushes are supposed to be pretty good. I think I even have a couple other brushes from them. It really applies the makeup great. That's not the problem I have. The problem I have is the neck part of the brush. Like, I guess this would be considered the neck. That's what I'm going to call it anyway. It is very, very flimsy. And I know some people had theirs already break when it came. And some have had theirs break on them, you know, when they're doing their makeup. Or especially I'll get closer and hold it and apply my makeup this way. Like the other one I could hold here and do it this way. But I'm so afraid that this part's going to break eventually. And, and I like it. It applies my makeup great. And I do have this one here from TJ Maxx, which is a little bit better. I need to clean it though. The neck part on it is more durable. Like I at first thought this one was flimsy, but who knew this one's even more. I wouldn't probably obviously recommend getting it because for that fact, you're spending the money and that's a possibility it could break. I would rather get something that's a little more durable. And like, so we're going more into makeup. Probably no surprise, the Tarte, I shared this in a video, the TSV from Tarte. I have enjoyed everything in it. I'll put a link to that video down below. You can go ahead and check it out and see all the products more in depth there. Another foundation that I've been using a good bit and I've been pulling it, I pulled it back out, was the Bourjois Healthy Mix Foundation. This here. Dang the light. That's the Healthy Mix from Bourjois. I think there's a serum one. I never tried the serum. And oh my goodness, I love this foundation. I always, it's funny when you go back to something and then you realize why you liked it or why you loved it. This is really great, especially, especially somebody that has the dry skin or especially somebody that loves the luminous glow kind of foundation. And Bourjois, from what I understand, um, is um, with Chanel, like kind of with Chanel and everything. You know how like L'Oreal we hear and Lancome are kind of, you know, the same companies and they're, they're the same. Well, that's the same with Bourjois. Yes, if you are dry skin, uh, you're looking for something that you you like that glowiness and everything bourgeois healthy mix and like I said there is a serum one I haven't tried the serum I've only used the healthy mix one the original and I love this stuff this is from hard candy and it's a double pack or double uh, double blush that you get in this one here they don't tell you the name of the blushes in this container because when I bought it I thought oh you know those are pretty and I was like oh I have those. I realized I had them afterwards. I was like, oh, well, you know, got them in a double pack. That's fine. You know, this one here is Honeymoon or something. I think it's called Honeymoon. So if you have Honeymoon already, it is in this kit. To me, it's more of a highlighter, not a blush though. This one here is Baby Doll. I think that's the name of it. And this, I mean, like if you use this, you really wouldn't need this in my opinion, because this already gives a glow, you know, to it. I mean, it's already, see, it already gives a glow. Right there you go. Right there. So if you see this set, it's a perfect set to get, I think, if you never tried the Hard Candy blushes. Or... Their blush is my Beauty and the Beast from Lorac. I don't know if you still can, I know the palette you can still get, but I don't know if you can still get this. I've been proning to this one a lot more, but I will go to here because I've been using those colors kind of, you know, uh, more for more berry tones. And then of course that's their highlight. I haven't gotten to use that too much. It's funny. It's uh, like, you would think I'd be dipping into that. I think I've only used it a couple of different times. It is a gorgeous highlight. I mean, their highlights are crazy. Right there is the highlight right there, you know. And the blush that I've been using a lot, right there, just so pretty. It, it's a perfect way to try their blushes and highlight because you have highlight in there. Palettes, again, no surprise, Lorac, uh, the four, <laughs> Mega Pro Four. I was trying to think, the Lorac Mega Pro Four. Love this palette. Been using it like crazy. I did get the Kat Von D Saint and Center palette. And I do like it. I do like this palette. I've played with it a couple different times. Actually, that is what I have on my eyes. I put on that funky, there's like a funky uh, green color. It is gorgeous. I like this funky green color here, which is called uh, Exodus. 
um, I have on my eyes. I even paired up with the purple, which is exorcism. Her, her name is on some of these. And then I even used these two colors. I used, I used everything. I guess I'm being a sinner today because I used pretty much almost everything on the center side. Uh, the saint, the only thing I used was amen all over on my eyes. And here is the saint. And then this side here is the center, the more vampy kind of dark colors. This is what I put on my eyes so you can see the green. And, but it turned out nice. Obviously, this isn't going to be for everybody. I like to have fun. I like to play. I like to try different things. And I will step out of my comfort zone and stuff like this. But it's a nice palette. And I'm glad I did get it. I think I liked her last one just a little bit more better. Just a little bit more better. Oh my god, her artwork. Seriously. Church. You know, like a gothic church. And then you open it up. Colors like how you would picture like the stained glass, you know, the stained glass window. Let's get into lip. I'm actually surprised on this one here. It's from LA Color and it's a matte liquid lip color. Notice I'm trying a lot of matte lipsticks. I'm surprised because I'm not usually big on mattes. But I'm trying to give them a try because it is a big thing now. And I wanted to see, you know, what ones I might like or which ones I might not like. The color is in, I think, Vixen. Yeah, Doe Foot Applicator. Like, that is really nice. It's a flat one. So there's a color there. And it's like of a peachy tone. So I really like that. Now this color pop I like. This one is, which one is this one? Strut. There it is right there. That is really pretty. The next one, I've been using a lot of these liquid lipsticks, is the uh, Maybelline Super State Matte Ink. I think I shared this already before. This one is in the shade 15 Lover. I love the lover <laughs> right there on the end. So I went on getting some more of them too. That's really pretty. I bought this last year at some point or the beginning of this year, I forget. And it's from CoverGirl and it's the O Sugars. I don't know if you can see any O Sugars from CoverGirl. This one's number 10, uh, Gumdrop. I think this is the darkest color you can get and it's probably the perfect one to get to have that little hint of color and that's what it's called it's called gumdrop and i know it looks really dark there but it gives a nice hint more of color it's not too dark do you know what i mean like right there it is so if you have those days where you just you want some color to your lips but you're not wanting a lip liquid lipstick or lipstick or gloss or anything but you want some color um, I would say look at the O Sugars and get some of those. And they actually smell and remind me of the Fresh, you know, the company Fresh with their lips, uh, lip balms and everything. Holy smacks. Definitely gonna have to edit this video. All right, beauty. So anyways, thank you for joining me. I really appreciate it. That was everything. I had quite a bit in this one here, but if you did like this video, please give me a thumbs up. That helped me out so much and I very much appreciate that. If you are not subscribed to my channel, uh, you can go ahead and click the subscribe button down below as well. Make sure you hit the bell because that will notify you by email of when my new videos are up and ready to watch. And as always, please, please remember to be yourself, love yourself, and let the real beauty shine through. So until the next time, you take care. I will see you then. I love you guys. Bye.